Hello, my dear friends. Friends, welcome once again to the YouTube channel of Baiju's Exam Prep. And as always, I welcome all of you to the next session in which I'm going to discuss the do's and don'ts for IFT 2020. So friends, it's the next big day after CAT. Tomorrow, it's another big day, IFT 2022. And those who are sitting for this examination, they must be wondering what all things we should be taking care of in this examination or what all things we should be doing starting from now in order to score or in order to basically maximize the score and get a very precious call from IFT. Now, uh, like just three, four days back, you all must have taken CAT examination. Now, there will be plenty of students who must be uh, satisfied with their performance and there must be some students who must be finding out uh, some things that they haven't done correctly in this examination. So friends, here I am with the last minute tips, basically do's and don'ts starting from today till the examination tomorrow. All right. So let's discuss these important pointers. So few things that we must be doing starting from now. The very first very important thing is do stay calm. Now, those who would remember not staying calm just one or two days before the big examination, one of the biggest examination has just passed by uh, CAT on uh, like uh, 28th of November. So some of you would understand uh, the importance of staying calm before and during the examination. Now, this is one key mantra that will take you to success. So I'll advise all of you to stay calm starting from now. The time you are looking at this session, those who are there in this session right now, those who are watching me right now, now from this time onwards, start taking deep breaths and stay calm. Okay. Now, if you will be staying calm, then you will be able to attempt more number of questions, understand this fact. All right. Now, it gets difficult for all of you uh, to basically uh, like uh, work on uh, this particular fact of staying calm. You will say that, sir, agar hum abhi calm rahenge, how we'll be able to do the last minute revision, what all things we need to revise. The, there are a lot of things we have kept towards the end. So friends, leave each and everything. Jab tak sochte rahoge ki hamari preparation puri nahi hui hai, tab tak puri nahi ho sakti. There is no single student on this planet who is fully prepared before the examination. All right. So you have done a lot of things for this examination. You have studied well. You have been studying since months. So now it's time to relax. In case you still want to do something, it's difficult for you to sit idle. Okay. Hotana goosebumps aate hain, nervous ho jate hain hum khali time dekke. So what you can do is you can read some newspaper or you may revise some important formulas. So important formulas, formula copy to sabne banai hoti hai. So what you need to do is just read some newspaper, read some articles in a magazine to stay calm. Okay. And side by side, revise some important formulas of quant. Okay. Some important tricks and techniques for LR and DI. That will be enough. Okay. So don't pick any difficult chapter like logarithms or don't pick a very difficult previous year sets of LR, DI. All right. So just stay away from all these things. Right. The next important thing is, bhool jate hum kabhi kabhi. so keep your bags ready. Okay, so your bag should have an admit card, right? Admit card, obviously, sabne download kar liya hoga. There should be one valid ID proof, okay, and a ball pen. So if you will go through the important instructions that are given on your admit card, you will get to know all these things, what all things you need to carry tomorrow. Okay, I'll also take you across some of the important instructions in this uh, session. Okay, so that you will not forget all these things. Also, friends, one very important information for all of you. There are some students who have received a message from IFT uh, telling them that uh, telling them to again download their admit cards because there might be some change. There might be some change in the centers that were earlier allocated to the students. So in case you haven't received this kind of message, still just to be on safer side, 
go back to the website of IFT and download your admit card once again and cross check your center. All right, please do this thing, right? Now, next important thing, after you are done with revising your formulas, your bags are packed for tomorrow, you, you are absolutely ready, then do not forget uh, to, to eat some uh, like a, a healthy thing uh, during the night so that uh, you will get a good night's sleep, okay? So you may also have a small glass of milk. Uh, some of you might not be habitual of drinking milk at the night, but still just drink a cup of milk at uh, somewhere around 9, 9.30 after you are done with dinner and go to bed early. Try to sleep early tonight. Okay. It is very important. Otherwise, you will not be able to wake up early in the morning. You will not be able to wake up fresh in the morning. Okay. So, do sleep early tonight. In case problem hoti hai, uh, you are a night owl. Huh? Ko 11, 12, so, it's better to take early dinner, hit bed early, late jao bed pe and start reading some novel, some boring novel. Okay. So, neen thoda sa jaldi a jayegi. Okay, now next is for the morning of the examination, 5th of December, I'm talking about tomorrow morning. Okay, so do eat something in the morning, don't go empty stomach. Okay, I have seen like I was also like at your age some years back. Okay, so I saw that you don't have to eat in the morning, we have to eat but this particular tension will not take you anywhere, right? So do eat something. Otherwise, like examination is of two hours. Otherwise, kya hoga? Examination, jab aap like question solve kar rahe to pet mein gud gud hogi, bhook lagegi. And you will lose your focus because you'll be hungry, okay? So do eat a sandwich, have a cup of coffee in the morning, but don't go empty stomach for this examination. All right, fine. Now, once you enter the examination hall, one very important thing that some of us uh, neglects, okay, na? I don't know why aisa hota hai, but I have seen a lot of people. Okay, so what one thing I noticed during the CAT examination, so there was an invigilator who was pushing students, who was pushing students uh, to go ahead with the instructions. So he or she was not letting the students to read the instructions properly. The same thing happened uh, in NMAT examination. So in NMAT specifically it happened that there were like four or five pages of instructions and the invigilator was pushing students to click the next button again and again and again. Don't do that. You will be given enough time to read these instructions. So spend those minutes <laughs> reading all the instructions before the examinations. All right. You might miss some important point, so please don't do that, okay? So read all these instructions, spend the entire time that is given to you to read these instructions carefully. 10 minute mile hai, 10 minute spend karo, 15 minute mile hai, 15 minute spend karo, but do read all the instructions properly. Also, what will happen is, when you start reading instructions for, and you'll be reading instructions for 5 to 10 minutes, so your eyes, your mind will warm up at that time. Okay, aisa hota hai jab hum morning mein, early morning kuch bhi start karte hai reading. So, uh, initially our reading speed is not too much. <coughs> okay, so, so basically when we are reading some text on a different screen, not our own laptop, okay, uh, in, in a different font. So, it takes few seconds, few minutes for, I, for our eyes to get adjusted for that particular text. Okay, so, do this particular exercise at the beginning of the examination so that your eyes will get set and your reading speed will be back to your normal reading speed once you start with this examination. Okay, so this is one important thing. <coughs> Do read all the instructions before the start of the examination, right? Okay, now next thing is <coughs> once you start the examination in the heat of the moment, we forget to apply all the strategies that we have made before uh, this examination during our practice days uh, when we are taking mock examinations. 
सो एवरी स्टूडेंट मस्ट हैव मेड सम स्ट्रैटेजी एंड प्रॉब्लम क्या होती है कि हम एग्जामिनेशन स्टार्ट करते हैं हम इतनी जल्दी में होते हैं हम बहुत सारी चीजें भूल जाते हैं प्रॉब्ली इट्स द प्रेशर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर डे ओके वी फॉरगेट टू अप्लाई दो स्ट्रैटेजीज एट ऑल हमें याद ही नहीं रहता कि हमने कोई स्ट्रैटेजी बनाई है सो डोंट लेट दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग हैपन ऑल राइट सो डू रिमेंबर टू अप्लाई ऑल द प्लान स्ट्रैटेजीज दैट यू हैव मेड बिफोर दिस एग्जामिनेशन देन ओनली योर एग्जामिनेशन विल बी सक्सेसफुल ओके फाइन ना वन इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्ट अबाउट दिस एग्जामिनेशन ऑल ऑफ यू मस्ट बी नोइंग आई हैव ऑल्सो कवर्ड लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन माई प्रीवियस सेशंस ओके जो मैंने प्रीवियसली आई एफ टी के लिए सेशंस लिए हैं I have covered all these things during those sessions that IFT has sectional cutoffs. Okay, so I have also uh, covered like properly in detail how to basically attempt this examination. How much time we need to spend on each section? Okay, all right. I'll also cover it today as well. Don't you worry. So I'll cover this particular thing briefly as well. But do keep in mind that IFT has sectional cutoffs. You cannot depend on one or two sections entirely and forget about one section. It is not SNAP examination. It is not Narsi Munji. Okay, Narsi Munji may be sectional cutoffs hoti hai. Narsi Munji mein to हमारे पास सेक्शनल टाइम लिमिट भी होती है बट देर आर सम एग्जामिनेशन विच डोंट हैव सेक्शनल कट ऑफ लाइक इफ आई टॉक अबाउट कैट कैट में अदर देन सम गुड कॉलेजेस लॉट ऑफ कॉलेजेस दे डोंट हैव सेक्शनल कट ऑफ बट आई एफ टी डू हैव सेक्शनल कट ऑफ एज वेल एज ओवरऑल कट ऑफ सो यूल हैव टू थिंक अबाउट क्लियरिंग सेक्शनल एज वेल एज मैक्सिमाइज योर स्कोर इन ऑर्डर टू रीच और कंफर्टेबली क्लियर द ओवरऑल कट ऑफ एज वेल all right so these are some things that you must be keeping in your mind starting from this moment okay now i'll briefly take you to one snapshot of the admit card okay so that you will not forget a few things so this is the snapshot of uh, ift admit card so at like on the first page basically there are three pages in this admit card okay so first page has uh, uh, all your details about the center okay that you have and one self declaration form so this is a snapshot of self declaration form don't forget to fill it before you enter the examination hall so isko abhi jaise ye wala session khatam hota hai immediately fill this form okay now important thing is obviously you'll be uh, filling this part yourself okay so you'll be filling this part second point by yourself ye to apne aap fill kar lena theek hai the important point is at the bottom of this page okay so i'll just quickly uh, mark that points okay so this part second pointer you'll be able to fill yourself obviously sari cheeze khud hi fill karni hai so uh i have in the last 14 days the following flu like symptoms don't tick mark anything theek hai ha huh? so in case you still you you have it actually then only tick it right now the dis the different cities that you have traveled in the past 14 days so mention all these cities okay and the date of arrival in that particular city please fill it carefully the fourth point i have read the detailed important instructions okay as given on page 3 so there are two more pages after this so given on page 2 there are some important instructions for the candidates and advisory for candidates regarding covid 19 so all the protocols that they'll be following so they are given on page number 3 so do read page number 2 as well as page number 3 which are attached with this admit card okay and then in these boxes do whatever is written so first is candidates photo it should be the same as you have uploaded in the application form okay so just paste it here before you reach the center so you'll be pasting it today only candidates left hand thumb impression signature nahi chahiye unhe left hand thumb impression chahiye so this can be done right now only so please do it without fail and candidate signature in this box now this is to be signed on the day of examination in the presence of invigilator only okay fine so these two things before reaching the examination hall the third thing 
your signature this should be in the presence of invigilator okay so these two things right now and this particular thing tomorrow during the examination right so read each and everything carefully don't be careless right also i have just jot down so i'll be telling you some important pointers from your admit card theek hai na admit card agar hai aapke samne so abhi ki abhi dekh sakte ho so i'm reading these things these instructions from page number 2 of the admit card i'll not be reading each and everything but point number 6 which is important this admit card consists of three pages okay and you'll have to take out the print out of all these three pages fine you have to carry all these three pages with you make sure right then point number 10 no candidate would be allowed to enter the examination center without admit card and undertaking so undertaking is important also you should be carrying your valid id proof and there will be a proper frisking before entering the examination hall now understand make a note of the valid id proofs which will be accepted so you can take any one of your uh basically uh this is given in which point point number 13 so it can be a pan card it can be a driving license voter id card okay your passport your aadhar card with photograph aadhar card pe there are some wo card wale jo hote hain aadhar card wo nahi chalega photograph honi chahiye okay e aadhar bhi chal sakta hai ration card aadhar enrollment number with photograph ye sari cheeze these are the like acceptable form of id cards okay then point number 11 candidates will be permitted to carry only the like following items in the examination venue so personal transparent water bottle so water bottle should be transparent so bislari ka jo water bottle aata hai wo kharid lo theek hai hand sanitizer you can carry so it's not mandatory but you can carry it with yourself but take it in the transparent bottle okay do not forget to carry a ball point pen okay ball pen ek carry karo admit card carry karo okay valid id proof carry karo mask and gloves carry karo okay so these are the things that you can take inside the examination hall okay fine now the next point which is important is 12 number point which is about this self declaration form okay so these are th some things that you'll have to take care now let's talk about some of the things that you should not be doing starting from now okay so these are also very important so do not take any unnecessary stress by doing anything uh, silly by doing anything weird now uh, like what is the definition of weird in this case so there might be some students who will start revising a lot of things okay formally bhi revise kar lete hain sare triangles ki theorems bhi revise kar lete hain then we'll read some rules of grammar we'll revise vocabulary that we have prepared for us we'll revise all the phrases we'll will we'll revise all the root words so sab kuch aaj hi karna hai jaise abhi tak kuch kiya hi nahi tha nahi guys okay just take a chill pill ओके, फाइन, सिट बैक, रिलैक्स, अब जो करना था सब कुछ कर लिया, अननेसेसरी स्ट्रेस लोगे, तो सब कुछ भूल जाओगे, ओके, सो प्लीज डोंट टेक एनी स्ट्रेस, आल्सो डू नॉट गो टू डिफरेंट ऑनलाइन थ्रेड्स, ठीक है ना, ऑनलाइन थ्रेड्स जैसे पागल गाय हो गया, हाँ, सो बहुत सारे थ्रेड्स चल रहे होते ह so nobody can tell you what all things will be there for you or what specific questions will be asked in tomorrow's examination fine so stop doing some weird things and just stay calm okay another weird thing that people do is okay chalo last moment pe ek mock deke dekhte hain ki like uh, hum kitne pani mein hain no you don't have to check this particular thing okay so no mock now on this day okay फाइन और माय एडवाइस वाज कि कल भी कोई मॉक नहीं देना चाहिए था आज भी पूरे दिन में कोई और मॉक नहीं देना चाहिए था सो फ्राइडे एंड सैटरडे दीज टू शुड बी योर रेस्टिंग डेज फाइन आल्सो डू नॉट वेक अप टिल लेट एट नाइट अभी जो सीजन है ना ये ओटीटी का सीजन है काफी ज्यादा ओके सो ऑलरेडी कल नेटफ्लिक्स पे मनी हाइस्ट का पार्ट टू सीजन फाइव रिलीज हो गया है विद न्यू एपिसोड फाइन so please don't even think of 
वॉचिंग दोज थिंग्स वॉचिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग आराम से आई का एग्जाम दो ठीक है कल आके इवनिंग में मनी हाइस का सीजन कंप्लीट कर लेना ओके द एग्जाम इज इंपॉर्टेंट इट विल नॉट कम बैक टू यू अगेन नेटफ्लिक्स ओ टी टी एप्स ये सब कहीं नहीं जा रहे हैं दे विल बी स्टेइंग देयर फॉर यू ओके फाइन नाउ नेक्स्ट इज टूमोरो वट वट शुड वट पॉइंट इज शुड वी बेसिकली कीप इन माइंड so that will not screw our examination okay so this is an examination which focuses more on sectional cutoffs and the problem is once we start any section let's say quant ka section start kiya and we get stuck on any question fine ek question pe stuck kar jate hain ek minute waste kar diya do minute waste kar diye but there are some people who keep getting stuck on lot of questions okay although it is not good even to stuck on a single question we should not be getting stuck okay so make sure that you have a threshold for every question this also i have covered in my previous sessions so a threshold time bana ke chalo that uh, okay i'll not be spending more than let's say one and a half or two minutes on any question so once i enter into a question if i am nowhere in that question in the first uh, let's say 1 and 1/2 to 2 minutes so 2 minute baad mujhe kuch samajh bhi nahi aa raha i will leave that question there and then you have to be very selective because it is very easy it is very easy to get stuck on any question hame pata nahi chalta and uh, time aage badhta rahega and you will not be able to move on to the next section you will get stuck on one section theek hai so make sure that you are moving you are moving after you are done with one section you'll have to take care about the other section don't worry i'll tell you how much time you need to spend on all these sections how you can plan these things all right fine also uh, during the examination keep your calm okay now i tell you one very important thing let's say i start this examination and i'm not able to solve questions okay i'm finding questions difficult to solve now what does that mean guys this means that the difficulty level of the question is obviously higher than average and it's not only for you to make akele exam nahi de rahe ho jiska exam difficult aaya hai so this examination is same for all the students so if you are finding it difficult to solve these questions then majority of the students will also be finding the questions to be difficult okay then that means question ka difficulty level aaj thoda sa high hai and the cutoffs are going to get low okay so you should be having this much presence of mind while attempting this examination okay aisa nahi hai na ki sirf mere liye exam tough bana hai aur sabke liye easy hai no guys so make sure play with a proper presence of mind examination difficult hai aap solve nahi kar pa rahe ho to that means cutoffs low jayengi एग्जामिनेशन इजी है आप जल्दी जल्दी सॉल्व कर रहे हो सो डोंट रिलैक्स एट एनी पॉइंट ओके सो टू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स डू नॉट स्ट्रेस डू नॉट रिलैक्स जस्ट बी योर नॉर्मल ओके रिलैक्स कर दिया अगर अगर इजी लग रहा है एग्जामिनेशन आप क्वेश्चन पे क्वेश्चन करते जा रहे हो करते जा रहे हो करते जा रहे हो एंड एक पॉइंट के बाद यू आर सैचुरेटेड कि यार चलो अब तो मेरी कट ऑफ क्लियर हो जाएगी नहीं यू शुड कीप योर हंगर टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस एग्जामिनेशन All right, fine. So relax भी नहीं करना है stress में भी नहीं आना है Okay, fine. Now let us have a look at how to attempt this examination very briefly. दो मिनट में जल्दी से मैं कवर करता हूं ये चीज So these are four sections that we have seen in the last year. Now friends, I'll tell you one thing. Whenever I have taken this examination, I have cleared all the sectional cutoffs as well as overall cutoff. I have never cleared. I I don't attempt general awareness question. ओके मैं सिंगल क्वेश्चन एक भी क्वेश्चन अटेम्प्ट नहीं करता हूं अदरवाइज इफ आई गेट अ कॉल फ्रॉम आई एफ टी देन आई बी ईटिंग अप अ सीट ऑफ वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स सो आई मेक श्योर दैट आई लीव वन ऑफ द सेक्शंस ब्लैंक जनरल जनरल अवेयरनेस को मैं अटेम्प्ट नहीं करता हूं एंड आई मेक श्योर आई क्लियर दी सेक्शनल कट ऑफ ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री सेक्शन एंड आई ऑल्सो क्लियर दी ओवरऑल कट ऑफ विद अज मार्जिन नाउ आई टेल यू हाउ ओके जस्ट अ स्मॉल स्ट्रैटेजी अ वेरी बेसिक स्ट्रैटेजी so how i start this paper is so 
when i was a student i'll tell you that okay and for a student i'll tell you the strategy as well fine so what you should be doing is you should be starting your examination with journal awareness section give it not more than 5 minutes all right now journal awareness 20 questions they can be taken care easily in less than 5 minutes question read kiya aata hai to answer mark kar denge nahi aata we'll move on to the next question there is nothing to solve in this section कुछ ऐसा नहीं है कि आपको सॉल्व करना पड़ रहा है रीजन आउट करना पड़ रहा है ठीक है सो ऐसा नहीं है जनरल अवेयरनेस में सो ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन कैन बी टेकन केयर ऑफ इन लेस देन फाइव मिनट्स फर्स्ट फाइव मिनट्स इस पे दिए भूल जाओ अब ये सेक्शन एग्जिस्ट करता है या फिर नहीं ठीक है फाइन फाइव मिनट्स ओवर सो आउट ऑफ वन ट्वेंटी मिनट्स नाउ एम लेफ्ट विथ हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टीन मिनट्स नेक्स्ट थिंग वट आई डू इज I will never divide these 115 minutes equally among the remaining three sections. Okay, what I have in my mind, I have to clear sectional cutoffs as well as I'll have to maximize in one or two sections to clear the overall cutoff. Okay, so with these 115 minutes which are left, I'll be spending 25 to 30 minutes on each of these sections. now sequence you may decide okay so 25 to 30 minutes on qa then 25 to 30 minutes on rc and va together and then 25 to 30 minutes on lr and di together okay now obviously these 25 to 30 minutes overall will go to entire qa the second section 25 to 30 minutes this is rc and va so out of Let's say four RC. So last year, four RC came. There four RCs of four questions each. So what you can do is you can pick two RC passages, finish them in fifteen minutes. Okay, fifteen or eighteen minutes, right? Then spend remaining twelve to fifteen minutes on these independent questions of VA. Okay. So if you give twelve to fifteen minutes in this VA, so in these twelve to fifteen minutes, I, I believe these will be enough. to take care of at least 15 16 questions in verbal ability okay do not over attempt zabardasti attempt nahi karne hai question ka answer pata hai mark karo nahi pata leave it blank okay now why i am taking that you'll be able to take care of why i am telling you why i am saying that you'll be able to take care of these uh, like at least 14 15 questions in these 12 to 15 minutes because these questions are not very lengthy ओके समरी टाइप क्वेश्चंस जैसे कैट में आए थे बहुत सारे पैरा जंबल्स बहुत सारे आए थे वो चीज नहीं है यहाँ पे यू सी सिनोनिम्स एंड टॉनिम्स ओके यू सी रूट वर्ड्स टाइप क्वेश्चंस सो कुछ छोटे छोटे क्वेश्चंस भी होंगे ओके सो विच यू कैन अटेम्प्ट इन अराउंड थर्टी सेकेंड्स राइट सो ओवरऑल थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन तक क्वेश्चन यू कैन टेक केयर इन दीज ट्वेल्व टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स राइट नेक्स्ट इज सेक्शन थ्री सो अगेन ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी मिनट्स लेट्स ए थर्टी मिनट्स you can either divide equally among logical reasoning and data interpretation some students are stronger in logical reasoning as compared to data interpretation so you may spend 18 to 20 minutes here and uh, probably 10 minutes here taking care of one set if you are strong in di then you can completely easily complete two sets okay last tuesday maine ek session liya tha we have discussed uh, like last year's di section I have picked three difficult sets, okay? Easy वाला set मैंने छोड़ दिया था and we have seen कि हमने easily eight nine questions solve कर दिए थे, okay? So data interpretation, if it's a strong area, then you can do eight to nine questions. ऐसा नहीं है कि set complete करना है. एक set start किया. DI में generally ऐसा होता है कि एक या दो question ना बहुत lengthy मिलेंगे. Huge number of calculations, okay? huge amount of calculations will be there so you can leave that particular question and move ahead to the next set okay so finish two set in data interpretation and uh, let's say uh, you can take 10 minutes in solving questions of logical reasoning right now what after this out of total 115 minutes which were left after gk section let's say i have spent somewhere around 25 to 30 minutes in in each of these sections so let's say i'm done with 85 to 90 minutes all right now after this i'm left with 25 minutes 
Now friends, these 25 minutes are very crucial, very important to clear the overall cutoff of this examination. In these 25 minutes, now you can maximize your score. Now you have already spent around 100 minutes on this entire paper. You have spent 25 to 30 minutes on each of the sections 1, 2 and 3. So now you have an idea about the type of questions that are there in this examination and in which of these sections the easier questions are still lying. Okay, so you can go back to the section in which you think that there are still some easy questions which can be done, easy or medium level questions. Or you can spend these 25 minutes in your stronger sections. Okay, so even if let's say you are, uh, uh, you are strong in RC and VA and you don't think that there are easy questions but you are strong in this section so you can again come back to this section and take care of some questions. People who are strong in QA or logical reasoning or data interpretation can finish the leftover questions to maximize their score. So friends this is a very small strategy that you can go ahead with with all the strategies that you have made for yourself. Alright so friends that is all from my side for this particular session. Okay I hope all of you will not be taking stress starting from now up till tomorrow morning. Okay, do follow some basic hygiene factors that I have told you. Okay, do not uh, like unnecessarily spend your time in studying a new thing or revising a lot of things. Do sleep early in the morning. Have a good night's sleep. Wake up at a normal time in the morning. Do reach your center on time and take this examination with a proper calm and composure. That's all friends from my side. Do not forget to join us tomorrow after the examination at 2 p.m. for the detailed exam analysis, expected cutoffs, difficulty level and exam pattern and some information about the good number of attempts of this section. So we'll be having this session live on YouTube channel of Baiju's exam prep at 2 p.m. All right, so we'll see you tomorrow. The students who are uh, like uh, planning to enroll with any of the courses with us. So if you are going to take SNAP and MAT testnet ZAT examination in the future, IFT is tomorrow. So if you're targeting these examination and you want some last minute revisions, last minute tips, last minute tips for uh, all these topics, then you can join this exclusive batch that is there on your left hand side. All CAT 22 aspirants can join the complete course batch number 5 for CAT 2022. All right. Now friends, this is the list of experts that we have on our panel. So if you like this session, please do press a like button, comment on this section. If you have any query, do share this session with your friends and subscribe our channel. Thank you very much friends. Follow us on social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook. Join us on Telegram and do subscribe our channel. Thank you very much. All the best for IFT examination. Have a good day.